All right, hello YouTube, this is Nick Adler, and today I'm doing a tier list for The Sims 4 game packs right here, like I'm ranking them. I know this video quality is not great. I am a new YouTuber and I have ordered a new webcam that is supposed to be coming in soon. So until then, bear with me and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so I have a list of The Sims 4 games packs right here. The first one is Outdoor Retreat. This one is one of the better game packs, which is pretty sad because it's very basic, you know, you don't, it's not that exciting. There are so many things that could have been done to make this game pack way better than what it was. Like, it's almost like they just gave us the bare minimum with it, almost, you know, because camping is supposed to be a lot more fun than what the game made it. Like. Camping's not fun in the game. There's no point in going to like the retreat and the outdoor retreat unless you want your sims to be Living in a different house for three days. Like that's the only reason why but there's nothing really exciting going on in the campsite They could have added water skis like a little Loch Ness monster or something like something to make the little um, Outdoor retreat pack more exciting and better. I Do like a lot of the creative sim items. I like a lot of the building furniture so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in I I'm conflicted between did the job and could have been better because it wasn't Horrible, but it wasn't great either. I'm gonna put it in could have been better Even though it's I, I don't hate it. Okay. The next one is dream home decorator. I Love this game pack like Love it this I think this is like one of the best game packs they've created. I like that we could have a career creating sims houses like remodeling the sims houses like 99 percent of it i love dream home decorator is like uh, one of the best packs like the create a sim well i don't know if it comes with create a sim items i think it does but the build items the career you know it's something that should have been included in the game a long time ago but i'm, I'm glad that we got it so I really like that pack and it's one of the few packs that i'm going to be putting up here in the like the top tier love it area just so you know all right next is my wedding stories out of all the packs this one is the one that i could go on a big rant about for like a long time okay so the world of tartosa is gorgeous i love it that is like the best thing about the pack i like the pack the fact that they give us wedding events that was fun however there are so many things that could have been done to make this wedding pack good and it, it wasn't that good, you know? Um, there should be more veil options for brides. Oh, the fact that we can't have any bridesmen or groom, uh, I mean bridesmaids or groomsmen in this pack really bothers me. Like you could have a flower girl or a ring bearer, other things, but you can't have a bridesmaid or like, you know, groomsmen that stand next to the bride and groom while they're exchanging their vows. And that is something that people have in most of their weddings. So the fact that they made a whole wedding pack and didn't include that really bothered me. Like that was one of the things I was most looking forward to, but The Sims didn't make that happen. Another thing that really bothers me about the fact, uh, the pack aside from the bridesmen and the groomsmaid, I cannot say that right. Bridesmen, bridesmaids, groomsmen. There, I got it. Another thing that bothers me about the wedding stories pack is that we can't take family group photos. I'm not talking about, oh, we're just four people, four sims. No, I'm talking about actual family group photo, family portraits, you know? Cause you know at weddings, like they'll put the, the groom's family in one photo, they'll put the bride's family and they'll do a big photo where they combine the groom's family and the bride's family. The fact that we can't have family portraits also bothers me. It's like, it kind of just took out one of like the best aspects of a wedding in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my wedding stories and could have been better. I'm kind of tempted to put it in meh because there, there are, are so many things about that pack that, that bothered me. But yeah, it could have been much better. It, disappointing. It wasn't absolutely horrible because I liked Tartosa. I liked a lot of the furniture, you know, the creative sim items, but I did not like the, the actual wedding card. All right. The next pack is werewolves. Okay. 
I know this pack is really popular, but let me catch my I gotta catch my breath. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I have to keep pausing to why I'm having trouble breathing. Okay. I'm not crazy about the way the werewolves look. Like, yeah, it's funny, I guess, and if you're a furry, you'd probably be into it. But, like, I just like the way the Sims 3 werewolves looked a lot better compared to these werewolves. Because Sims 3 werewolves actually look like a cross between a human and a werewolf. These werewolves in this game, uh, the Sims 4 pack, it just looks like a bunch of furries. Like, it's just... And the fact that they go on rampages and they damage the whole house, that really bothers me. I think the first time I actually played with the pack, it ended up killing one of my sims. Because like, it ended up biting them, and I don't think if they transformed, they just died. And it's like, wow. I prefer the Sims 3 werewolves way over this one. So, I, I like the world of Moonwood Mill. It's cool. I like the fact that we got the occult. I just wish it would have been a lot better. So, I put the werewolves pack... And could have been better as well. Alright, the next is Spa Day. Personally, I don't see why this had to be a whole separate pack. You know, because it's just a spa. It should have been included with like a career pack or something. Um, yeah. It, it's okay. I like, you know, I like the, the yoga interactions and the furniture it came with. You know, a lot, a lot of the items that it came with, the creative sim items, the build mode items. It was okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it in did the job because it did the job, but it, but it's not, it's not like that exciting of a pack. It's just watching your sims at a spa and it has some cool features. Other than that, I'm not crazy about it. All right. The next pack is Dine Out. This is another pack that it was good. Could have been better, but like it, it was mostly good. It's it's mostly really good. Of course, it doesn't come with the world like werewolves, and it, it's a good pack overall. I think I'm conflicted whether to put it in did the job or love it. Um, even though it has a couple flaws in there, I'm gonna put it in love it. It should have came with a career pack, really. Spa day, open your own restaurant. That could have been its own pack, you know, like Sims Three Ambitions. Yeah, this could have all been its own pack, but you know. Anyway, the next pack is Vampires. I mean, I'm not someone who's a super vampire fan, but I like it. The Vampire Occult, like, they're very difficult to, like, keep alive, you know? They either have to feed off of other sims, or they have to grow plasma food, fruit. They can't go out in the sun or else they'll die. You know, like I said, they're difficult to keep alive. They're kind of fun to play with because, like, they have, like, these supernatural abilities you know they can i think they can gain skills very fast they can teleport places i really like the world of forgotten hollow a lot of people don't like that world but i do i like the setting of it like the creepy setting that it has i like the build mode items in vampires and the creative sim items so i'm going to say i'm conflicted whether to put vampires in did the job or love it um I'm going to put it in love it because it, I think that it did what it was supposed to do aside from the fact that vampires are hard to keep alive and it gave us Caleb Vittori which one of the most handsome pre-made sims the game has ever came with. Alright, the parenthood pack. As a person that wants to have kids one day, I found this pack to be very endearing. I wish it would have came with its own world but whatever, I guess that's what growing together was for. But. I like the gameplay features in it. I like a lot of the create a sim items, the build mode items that it came with. So, and and the gameplay. Like, you know, it kind of actually teaches you how to raise a kid and like how to be a good parent. Not that I need the pack to show me that, but someone who's aspiring to be a parent, I think parenthood would be a good pack for them. I, I'm going to go ahead and put it next to Dream Home Decorator because it's like parenthood is one of my favorite packs. Jungle Adventures. I'm kind of conflicted on this. I mean, the world of El Salvador, I don't know what the world's called. I think it's El Salvador, like the vacation world that Jungle Adventures came with. It's, it's gorgeous. Like, the vacation world is gorgeous. However, it's not fun having your sim walk through the jungle. Like, it's just, it's just not fun. Like, I didn't see it as very exciting. To me, it wasn't all that. Like, it's, it's an okay pack, but... 
And I, I like a lot of the furniture that it came with and stuff and the creative sim items, but I'm just not crazy about it because I'm not crazy about having my sims walk through the jungle and stuff and like it could have been better than what it was. I'm going to go ahead and put it in meh because I hardly ever use it. Maybe I use some of the build mode items, but like, yeah, I just don't really care for it. I wish that the, the El Salvador, the vacation world that it came with, I wish that was a residential world or they would have gave us a vacation world and a residential world that we could like live in that looks like El Salvador or whatever that was because that's a pretty gorgeous world. The next one is Strangerville. Okay, I like how this pack pays homage to Strange Town and Sims 2. I love it whenever they like give us kind of nostalgia from earlier Sims games because earlier Sims games were very top tier. Like they they did the job and Sims 4 kind of fails to do that at times. But um as far as the gameplay goes in Strangerville, not crazy about it. I don't care to have my Sims have this weird illness that causes them to be like possessed and then to solve this weird mystery and stuff like that. Like I, I don't play the Sims for stuff like that. Like I always, I start families, I build restaurants, build houses, build mansions. I don't play the game to like do weird things like that. But I guess if you're a fan of weird stuff, then you would like Strangerville. I'm gonna go ahead and say, did the job even though i'm not crazy about that pack i'm gonna say i did the job because i'm not even sure what it was supposed to do to be quite honest with you but whatever realm of magic so this pack a lot of it was based off of harry potter if you can't tell which got on my nerves it's like we don't need something that's inspired by harry potter like don't stop trying to make things like harry potter and like star wars and and other things like just be the sims but anyhow the world that it came with was glimmerbrook is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful would have been nice if it was bigger but it was it is gorgeous however when you think of witches you think of scary like dark like something you know so i expected the world that was associated with the witches pack to be scary kind of like forgotten hollow but like even better like i think that they could have gave, given us an even scarier world with this realm of magic pack but it didn't happen instead they gave us a world that looked like it would have been for fairies by the way i am very excited for the fairy pack that's coming um that's my prediction and i know it will because they've given us so many hints i'm not sure when it's coming but i know that there's a fairy pack coming so anyhow realm of magic i'm gonna go ahead and put it in could have been better. I like a whole lot of things in it. I don't use it that much. I like the fact how they could bring dead sins back to life because that If if you make ambrosia, then it's just an annoying process. So I like the fact that the spellcasters can do that Other than that like I put it in could have been better because it could have been better. Okay the stupid Star Wars pack I guess say the worst last. I'm gonna put it right down here for now Whatever, it's going to be an awful for right now, but I might put it in meh. Okay, I like seeing my sims fight with lifesavers. That's cool. I like the fact that we have created sim items that are that are kind of inspired by Star Wars, whatever. I hardly use them. I think that this pack, if they were going to do a Star Wars pack like this, that it could have really enhanced the aliens that we already have. But anyway, I did not care for this pack at all. The stupid um, World of Batu thing, like I went there I think once or twice. And it's just not entertaining. The, the creatures in that world are just not very flattering at all. They make your sim change clothes when they go there, and the gameplay is just not interesting. Like I said, they give us some cool build mode items, some cool creative sim items, and I like seeing my sims fight with lightsabers if you use a cheat code to get there because if you try to do it the old-fashioned way, it's annoying. But definitely not one of my favorite packs. I don't like the little vacation world that it came with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in meh because there are certain things that i like about it but yeah it's 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 one of the worst packs game packs they ever did all right so that sums up all the games packs for sims 4 thank you for watching my ranking video if you made it this long thank you for watching watching me rant and rave or whatever but if you enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later